Here's your neighborhood moment, a chance to find out about events, activities, and what's happening in your area. I'm Janice Clark with the South End Neighborhood Council. Today, we have Mr. Darren Penn with Safe Streets. We want to welcome to our neighborhood moment. Mr. Darren Penn, you're the Community Mobilization Specialist with Safe Streets. Can you tell us what is the vision and mission for our neighborhood um, Watch group. Watch groups. Okay, and uh, Safe Street is a uh, Safe Street is a nonprofit organization. Uh, Safe Street have been exist for 28 years, and uh, every month and every night, I have a neighborhood uh, citizen coming to the meeting, and uh, people know about Safe Street vision and mission, but I don't know how many people know about the neighborhood watch group. Uh, mission and vision. Yes, and I heard a, there was a sighting at this at the uh, council meeting at the city council meeting that you were there and people were acknowledging the fact that so many neighbors come out to the neighborhood watch groups. What inspires them to come out? What inspired them is the 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 group mission and vision. And uh, what is the neighborhood watch group? The neighborhood watch group is an organized group of neighbors looking out for each other to create safe, clean, and healthy. So that's what the group uh, vision, uh, neighborhood watch group uh, vision and mission. That's what inspired them because they want to create safe, clean, and healthy in the neighborhood. Yes, and in the South End neighborhood uh, district, we're the largest of the eight neighborhood councils. How many, um, approximately how many neighborhood watch groups do you have within the South End? And right now we have about 40 neighborhood watch groups. It used to be 60, but now we have about 40 neighborhood watch groups that meet every single night. That is so incredible. And I know that you are also engaging, outreaching them and engaging them to come to the South End Neighborhood Council meetings that we have on the third Monday of each month. Uh, talk a little bit more about the kinds of activities that go on within the neighborhood watch groups. Because their vision and mission is to create safe, clean and healthy. So in order to create safe, clean and healthy, and number one, they have a goal and a work plan, recruit more people, and, and a, a having a, and motivate and spy by handing out the flyer to invite other people to come to the meeting. And then when they come to the meeting, they, come, uh, they have some kind of concerning issue, the project in the neighborhood, they need to have a goal and a work plan. Whatever they do in the neighborhood, it's fitted into the neighborhood watch group. For example, like a neighborhood cleanup, and walk about and many other stuff. And each time, for example, I just dropped the flyer to the Blueberry Park, 450 flyers wow. for per month that those citizens have to go out there because that's what uh, they do to improve the quality of our life in the neighborhood according to the group vision and mission. Yes, we are very grateful uh, when I say we, the South End Neighborhood Council members, because uh, without the many different uh, neighborhood watch groups that are in the South End, there's no way that police and our public safety can do it alone. And it has been incredible work and continue to be incredible work. And we're seeing the results of those. Do you have today any um, examples of some of the other things that you've done in helping senior citizens who housing, um, having uh, situations with low income housing, their house needs improvement or their yards or anything? Do you have any of that? Yes, Janice, uh, you brought up a good point. The law enforcement cannot be everywhere, but the citizens are there 24 seven. And, and the neighborhood watch group the Safe Street Neighborhood Watch Group is not a place law enforcement, code enforcement, that they have a team to work with, not just only the public servant. So code enforcement, law enforcement, city, uh, city traffic engineering, and the community-based services, they are a team. When you are a team, you never let anybody down. For example, if the group know what's going on in neighborhood, for example, in a Pack Jack Neighborhood Watch Group, I have a photo to share in this, it, it, this is beside coming to the meeting. This is additional uh, activity that the group have done. For example, like uh, this is a sing, single uh, uh, senior lady. Yes. She's about 90 years old. Look at her house. 
on the top of her house, there's a lot of tree. And look at the gadget. Gadget is a lot of dirt, and people clean it up. And look at the bottom right here. This is her front door. There's about six inch, five inches of dirt. So uh, she's not able to uh, pay someone to come and do it. So the neighbor would come and, and help them. As I, I spent there too. We spent about seven hours for that. Look at the, how clean it is yes. and before and after. This part of a uh, uh, neighborhood uh, group have done because they've been doing it because of safe, safe, clean, and healthy and looking out for each other. Yes. And this is one example. And the other example I would like to share with you is another one. They call the uh, Lincoln South Neighborhood Watch Group. And look at the picture on the top right here. Look at, you cannot see what's, is there the house behind there. And look at the volunteer, the Neighborhood Watch Group came together because they saw someone just in and out and she's about 88 years old. And she's by herself too. You can see how citizens care and looking out for each other. And even though the kid come out and clean and look at how nice it is before and after. Look at, look at, right now you can see the house right here. You see the house. And look at the picture on the top right here, you cannot see. And look at right here, and you can see that. It's really amazing, sleeping bag, all kinds of stuff. And this kind of, uh, of neighborhood, they've been doing it, looking out for each other to create safe, clean, and healthy. That's what the neighborhood watch uh, Safe Street uh, mission and goal. That is so incredible and so outstanding. And noticing in that picture before you move it, Darren, in that particular picture there is showing a sleeping bag. So someone before those uh, bushes was cut back and trees was cut back, that looks appears that the homeless as someone was uh, uh, considered an encampment. Is yep. that right? Is yes, yes. So and someone sleeping under the front door, of, uh, the front window for a year, for a month, we don't know. Yes. But the uh, people are uh, kind of like, and then after they clean it up, we found a lot of stuff. And the crawling basement, and they went in, inside there too. So people came out and, and uh, helped her look at, to beautify, and she doesn't have to cost anything. But the neighborhood watch, that's what the uh, uh, goal and, and the vision and mission of the neighborhood watch group. That is outstanding. So again, I want to make it sure we're clear and our audience is clear that it was, it costs this elderly lady, those two ladies in uh, these two examples, zero dollars, yes. that this is what, how the neighbors engage within the South End Neighborhood District to help make sure we have clean and safe and healthy neighborhood. Is that correct? Yes. That and is outstanding. Yeah, that, that's what, uh, uh, again, that's what a uh, 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 neighborhood watch vision and goal is looking out for each other to get safe, clean, and healthy. That's what they've uh, been involved. And also, we have another panel I want to share with you. This is what uh, uh, many people, if you drive around in the neighborhood, you will see. We are a safe street community. So a, com a community, it means like more than a block, no, more, more than a neighborhood. So many people see the value. That's why uh, Safe Street have been exist for, for many years. Yes. Because of the value that the citizens live in the South and entire city and the county see that. Look at Safe Street is a, an organization that bring people come together for one single purpose, to create safe, clean, and healthy. And again, we are not replace law enforcement, code enforcement, but we have a team. We work closely with law enforcement and, and code enforcement and city and the county services. Good. This is so great. Darren, it's always a pleasure for you to come in the studio and talk about the great and many things that are happening in the South End Neighborhood District. Also, we know that um, we're going to be running uh, short on time, so we want to get it in, though. We have some cleanups that are coming um, in the upcoming months. I know we have a plethora of them coming in the month of May. Come out to the May, June, and July uh, cleanups that's coming. So could you just give me a brief 20 seconds, 30 seconds, to talk about how important it is for neighbors to participate in the cleanups? So um, the cleanup, uh, neighborhood uh, annual cleanup is support uh, funded by the city, but it's supported by the neighborhood watch group. And we also have, uh, in June, we have, yes, 
We have three in June. Okay, perfect. So we want you to come out. Uh, we first again want to thank you so much, Darren, for uh, the plethora of information that we have today. I want you to join us at the South End Neighborhood um, Council meetings on the third Mondays at uh, the fire station on 4911 South Alaska. 4911 South Alaska, which is right across from Geodrome Middle School, 7 o'clock p.m. This is your call to action as the co-host of this show and you heard the many things that are safe streets. Not only the organization has been in existence for 28 years, but within the neighborhood district, the mobilization efforts that are the neighborhood watch groups. So your call to action to come out, um, to come and get involved in the cleanups that are happening because you can um, participate by showing up at these particular events and bringing things. Again, I'm Janice Clark. I'm your host with the South End Neighborhood Moment. Thank you again for joining us. For more information on what's going on in your neighborhood, log on to the city's website, cityoftacoma.org slash neighborhood councils.